what a good day to be president of the United States of America while also being a talking fruit. Listen, you know, president of America who happens to be a giant fruit. We have kidnapped your daughter. That's not my daughter. That's another orange person. What do you think all oranges look the same? Yeah, I'm just a regular everyday talking orange you see on the street. We got your daughter now. That's a regular orange now. Not even a talking one. Oh yeah, this is the orange I bought from the grocery store. Okay, I know for sure now we have your daughter. Nope. You just kidnapped me, the president, instead. God fucking damn it. I finally have heard for real now. Daddy help me. I guess it should have been obvious. She's the only talking orange here with hair. I want the shit ton of money from you in exchange for the girl's life. You're bluffing. Oh, I'm not joking. If you don't give us the money, I will turn her into juice with this gigantic blunder and drink her. Jesus Christ, sir, that's messed up. That really is. I'm a 13-year-old orange. You'd be drinking the blood of America's youthy one patriotic swine. That's a risk I am willing to take. Ugh, Dad, you're always like this. I guess you can say, Orange Man is bad. <laughs> okay, drinking the blood of a preteen sounds pretty fucked up. Let me think of a new plan. There's only one person left in the world who can help this lowly powerless president of the United States of America. What the fuck? Mr. President, why do you believe that this random fox person can solve our problem and why did you have that button? It has been proven by science that only fox people can stop bald scientists who kidnap daughters. Listen here fox guy. We need you to settle a dispute with a bald scientist who kidnapped my daughter. Oh my god. Please do not tell me that it's oh, oh god man. damn it. Do you hear to negotiate? What do you want to exchange, fatty? Let me guess you want donuts or something to accelerate your diabetes. Shut the fuck up. That's not how diabetes works, I think. This is so boring. Can I at least have something to read while you negotiate? Find 58, go to the library room and find the book for Miss Idris, bitch. Sir, all we have are Garfield comics. What? I gave you guys over $10,000 to fund the library and all you bought is Garfield books. I'll read whatever. This is going nowhere. I want $50 billion now. Alright and knock. Here's the money under this blanket. Definitely not a bomb. I'll bet there is a ticking sound emanating from it. Alright, here's the girl. I originally planned to drink her foods. Not even going to ask. On an unrelated note, why do you need all this money? I am broke. Being a supervillain sucks. All the money I earn immediately goes to taking care of my idiot robot. If you don't like being a super villain, how about a career change? Like maybe build a toy factory or something? Do you have redundation out of the ass? There is no way in hell that will ever happen. Not even in an alternate timeline. That's not my daughter. It's just a regular orange wearing a wig. What? It looks just like her? Are you saying that all oranges look the same? Yes I am. All oranges look the same. If you are this wig I would genuinely believe that you are your daughter. Don't worry. I have a feeling my emergency plan B will pull through for us. You know this ticking blanket is a bar right? Obviously. I'm not dumb. Let's drop this boomer back at the White House. 
tick, 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 motherfucker. Ha 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 ha. What could possibly be funny about this? No, it's the Scarfield comic. He ate lasagna and kicked the dog. Call me a Garfield fan cause I love this fat cat. Hey Fox guy, this is the nuclear missile launch button really cool, right? Of course that happened.